The reopening of the country's borders brings a greater risk for the entry of COVID-19 and large gatherings such as in carnival events must be avoided. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Hazel Laws said the reopening of the borders will result in travelers coming from COVID-19 hotspots. While it is necessary to reopen the country's borders, every individual, she said, must adopt approved behavior to reduce the risk of transmitting or contracting the coronavirus. Our borders will be opened October the 31st and we will be welcoming uh, tourists, international travelers from hot spots and it's hard for me to predict what's going to be, uh, what the status of affairs will be in the island in, in December and so for me, out of an abundance of precaution, we need to, and as I said earlier, uh, we all have a responsibility to, to avoid uh, crowds and mass gatherings and that's what, that's the essence of, of, of carnival and so uh, from where I sit I, I, I do not foresee anything more than uh, virtual, a virtual uh, means of celebration uh, you know, in terms of, 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 of carnival. And so I just want to put in a plug here. Uh, once our borders open, uh, there's an increased risk of the virus being reintroduced into the Federation, and we need to adhere to the measures. And one of the, measure, the measures include physical distancing and social distancing, avoiding mass crowds, mass gatherings. According to authorities, the reopening of borders will be phased with various entry protocols in place to identify COVID-19 by facilitating travel and tourism. Glenn Barth, SKN Newsline.